legendary song poet and recording producer, Cowboy Jack Clement. I didn't really start getting anything cut to speak of until I went to, went to work at Sun Records. And then I started getting things cut by Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee. And so that kind of sparked my interest in writing songs, writing more songs. The first one was Battle of the Teenage Queen, which was a real big hit. And then I wrote a follow-up to that called Guess Things Happen That Way. Jerry Lee Lewis came in. I was back in the studio messing around, piddling around with something. And the girl up front came back and says, uh, there's this guy out here who says he plays piano like Chet Atkins. Oh, I gotta hear that. Send him on back. So he came back, sat down at this little spinet piano and played Wildwood Flower. And it sounded like Chet Atkins playing the piano. And I was, you know, I liked that. But well, what are you gonna do with it? So I said, uh, do you sing? Yeah. <clears throat> well, sing me something. And he had written a song called End of the Road, kind of a rock and roll thing. I thought that was good. But better than that, he'd come up with a version of an old Gene Autry song, You're the Only Star in My Blue Heaven. And he didn't do it at all like Gene Autry. You know, Gene Autry did, You're the only star in my blue heaven. Jerry Lee said, down, but ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. You're the only star in my blue heaven. Now that's it, kid. This was on a Monday, I remember. I told him if he'd come back Thursday, I'd have some musicians and we'd cut some tapes. So anyway, we cut Crazy Arms and uh, Sam came in the next Monday. I put the tape on, started up. Piano comes in there. Before it ever gets to the singing, he reached over and stopped it. He said, now I can sell that. As if to say, well, you young whippersnapper, you finally done something I like around here. 